brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Reverend Dennis E. Lott, age 61 of Hansville, will be at 2 p.m. today at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Don Simpson and Johnny Sims officiating burial in Mount Grove Congregational Cemetery. Funeral services for Lexi Marie Shelton Spear, age 92 of Hansville, will be tomorrow at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Ray Ponder and Tommy Graves officiating with interment in Shelton Grove Cemetery. The family will receive friends 5.30 to 9 p.m. this evening at Hansville Funeral Home, who is in charge. Funeral services for Dewey D. Jones, age 83 of Cullman, are incomplete, will be announced later by Cullman Funeral Home. Mr. Jones passed away yesterday. Funeral services for Virgil Raymond Laney, age 78 of Cullman, will be at 1 p.m. on Thursday at Cullman Funeral Home Chapel, the Reverend Steve Rogers officiating, burial in Blair Congregational Methodist Cemetery, Cullman Funeral Home is directing. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. We got a safe driver headed toward the freeway. He is doing 44 in a 45. Now in the nation, safe just got a little more exciting. Add vanishing deductible from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Just another way we put members first. Because we don't have shareholders. Bill, that's perfect merch. That was just, that was flawless. Nationwide is on your side. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Premier Bank presents Today on Two. It is Wednesday, the 13th day of August. School starts today, Ooh, I believe, in uh, Coleman City and County Schools today. Yes, they do. This is also Blame It on Someone Else Day. Oh, I think that's every day. You think so? Yeah. I don't think it's reserved for just today. I think it's been every day. See, for I was just ready to say it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's every day. 
Nobody except responsibility. For, I can't believe they've made a day out of this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no matter what happens, <laughs> to yeah. blame it on somebody else. Not today. my fault. I didn't do that. You mm -mm. do not have to take responsibility for anything today. Well, you don't. You really don't. So I think it's every day. I don't think it's just today. I think you're right about that. <laughs> well, let's start with the weather for today. Who can we blame this on? <laughs> I think everybody's going to take credit for the weather today. Our weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Weather Almanac for the 13th of August in Coleman, Alabama. The average high still 92. The average low 66. The record high 101. Just a few years ago in 2010, the record low 51 in 1979. Sunset at 737. Sunrise tomorrow 7 minutes after 6. There's the satellite picture. Looks pretty good over the southeast. Our forecast, this may be the best day of the whole summer. Oh, Sunshine, wow. a high of 84. Low humidity today. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of a breeze. Overnight low tonight, 60 by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, more of the same, high of 85, sunny day. And as we look to the extended forecast, 89 on Friday into the 90s on the weekend and a chance of rain the first of next week. But anyway, enjoy today and tomorrow. Should just absolutely be gorgeous days. Yeah, I mm, got out of my weather. car this morning to get here and I just thought, wow, this feels really, really good. Yes. It's great. Yeah. I wonder if this is the way it is in San Diego all the time. They always talk about San Diego's got the best weather best in the country. Best weather? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. it's possible. If that's the case, I think I'm all for San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I kind of like the changes. I do, too. You know? I do, too. It is. Yeah. And plus, it gives us something to complain about every it's once true. in a while. That's <laughs> true. That's true. What else will we talk about then? Huh? Okay, let's check our Facebook friend. Who's our friend for today? Let's check that out. Natasha Nava, maybe? Nava? Uh -huh. Nava? And let's see, she likes Rock the South and the Discovery Channel. Very good. And we will give her that large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just come by here first. Pick up that certificate. Yep. And I don't know, you probably couldn't see the table, but uh, we have show and tell, and we have a very interesting guest today. Yes, we do. Miss Cindy Phillips is here, and she is an artist, and um, I guess with clay and pottery and so forth, and so we're going to visit with her. She's brought on some wonderful pieces that she has done, and I've always wanted to take a pottery class. I should do that sometime. That should be on my, that's on my bucket list. I would think so, and this would get you excited about it. Yes, it would. Either that or you would say, whoa, that yeah. really looks hard. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. She's very experienced for sure. I you don't think see. I could turn out, I could turn out ashtrays or something <laughs> like that, something very basic and simple, but this, eh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is good. So we'll talk to Cindy Phillips right after this. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. That's how many registered nurses the national job market will need in this decade. Will you be one of them? Across the country, that's the median annual pay for RNs. Be one of us and get in a Wallace state of mind. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Fire. Accident. Storm. They all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. 
And we're back once again, this time with Cindy Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. And um, Cindy is here. She is an artist. You actually do use canvas and yes. stuff like that, but uh, you also like to do pottery, right? Yes, I is that do. what this is considered pottery? Or? Yes, pottery, ceramics. Okay. Um, um, I do mostly functional work, pieces that you can use and hold in your hands, bowls and cups and things like that. Okay. You can also do sculptural things out of ceramics. Okay. What got you started into something like this? Well, a long time ago, I took my very first ceramics class at Wallace State, mm -hmm. and um, which is pretty interesting. It's coming around full circle. I'm about to start teaching an, a ceramics class at Wallace this oh, coming cool. Monday. Yeah, will be my first class. That'd be good. <coughs> uh, back then, I was pursuing a different degree. I had a short career in geology, and then decided to become an artist. So I went back to school and got a Bachelor of Fine Arts and studied painting and ceramics. Okay. Um, I loved the feel of the clay. That first ceramics class I had was so fun and just working as a geologist, being out in riverbeds and finding clay deposits. Um, so that just seemed to really fit. Yes, the it? tactile yeah. nature of it really, um, mm -hmm. really suits me. Yeah. And now you, <coughs> are, you have a shop over at uh, Pam Willingham's, a shop mm -hmm. around the corner. Uh, you have an area where you actually teach, right? Yes. Um, I've had an adult class ongoing for about two years now. Anyone who's interested in trying it out is welcome mm -hmm. to join. Call first. Make sure there's a spot available. It does right. fill up time to time. Right. Um, and I do children's pottery camps during the summer over there as well. So okay. we had a couple of really successful camps this summer. Good. Now do you have the spinning <coughs> wheel or is this all just formed by hand? Well, we do both. We have two potter's wheels over there and I tend to do a lot more of my work on the pottery wheel. Okay. But I also enjoy hand building and I usually start out children and adults, anyone who's a beginner with hand building. There's a lot you can learn about clay. Uh, manipulating it just with your hands without the wheel. That's another whole level of complexity that I like to put off for a little while until they've made a few projects by hand. Right. The movie Ghost. You remember that? <laughs> yes. You know, of course, she was a potter <coughs> and she used her potter's wheel and everything. And so I think a lot of people kind of sparked an interest in it after they saw that movie and everything. But that is so much fun, but it's a lot more difficult than you think. Absolutely. She made it look much easier than it really is. <laughs> I wonder if those are really her hands doing it or if somebody else was I doing it. I wondered the same. Whoever was doing it was quite experienced. Those were large pieces that right. were being thrown. Definitely. <laughs> okay. And that's what you call it, throwing pottery, Yes. Right? Why mm -hmm. do they, do you know why they call it that? Where did that terminology come from? I really from? don't know why it's okay. called that. <laughs> okay. There's not really a lot of throwing involved. It's pushing, squeezing, pulling, I guess. So I don't know where that but term came from. But don't you just slap it on that thing when you, you first put it down? Yeah, maybe that's where that's it came from. You want to get good contact that, with the right. wheel head. So. Throw that down there mm -hmm. <laughs> and go from there. Yeah. And it's amazing how they transform things. And so you've got some beautiful pieces here. I kind of wanted to point that out. <coughs> this is the first one that I want to definitely make sure everybody <laughs> sees because this is a little unusual and probably a lot more difficult than people think, right? Because this is, oh, this is, uh, hollow, is that correct? Yes. Or is this one? Okay. Yes. It is. I'm going to turn it this way a little bit so we can see more of what. That is so unusual. What possessed you to do this? <laughs> well, uh, this was a piece that I made when I was a student at South Alabama. Um, we were doing face jugs. There's a long tradition of face jugs in the southeast. Usually they have scary, ugly faces uh -huh. with crooked teeth and things. Um, I guess they made these to store their moonshine in, and they put oh. ugly faces to scare the kids away from oh, the moonshine. Oh, okay. Um, but <laughs> as soon sense. as my teacher said moonshine, the, the moon image was in my uh, head, and I thought, well, I want to make a moon face yeah. out of it. So uh, yeah. this is a hand-built piece. It was not thrown on the wheel. We mm -hmm. started by rolling a slab much like you would roll out dough to okay. cut out cookies. Uh -huh. And then the slab was wrapped around a cardboard cylinder. And after removing the cylinder and putting a bottom on it, you can reach in and push the clay out gently for the okay. cheeks and sh you know to sh right. give the right. form of the head. Right. And then other pieces of clay can be added, like I did for the nose and the chin and such. Okay. Is it hard to bake <coughs> these? Do these have a tendency to, is it harder to bake, I guess, or? or well, um, these are 
with the exception of these two pieces, uh -huh. are high fire pieces. So okay. they were all fired in um, either a gas kiln or an electric kiln. The kiln does all the work. Right. The hard part, I guess, is in creating your pieces properly so that they don't explode or crack in That's the kiln. That's kind of what I was yeah, wondering about um, because to me, this shape just seems a little odd and just <laughs> a little difficult you know, to work with and stuff. Well, the shape and the size doesn't really um, matter so much as making sure you don't have air trapped inside mm -hmm. the clay and making sure that it's fully dry before you put it in. Okay, okay. Now this right here is a beautiful piece uh, right here on the corner. This is very, very pretty. That looks like it could be in a museum oh, somewhere. thank you I mean, so much. Very, very nice. Let me <coughs> see if we've got, here you go, I'm messing this up. But um, So you had to do a lot of, well that cup is in there, there we go, okay. You had to do a lot of um, sculpting but you also had to, did you do the outside artwork after you'd fired it for first, or how, how does that work? No, um, this piece actually is another hand-built piece. It looks mm -hmm. like it could have been thrown on the wheel. Mm -hmm. um, if I could just skip over to this little piece. Okay. This one was made in the same method. This is a very simple coil pot. Uh huh. You can see the rings of the coils on this piece. Right. Um, and what I did for this piece, it was built with coils as well, but then I smoothed them together to get the, the ah, smooth finish on the outside gotcha. and on the inside. Use larger coils. And um, after the forming of the piece, when it was still in what we call the leather hard state, where it still has moisture in it, mm -hmm. you can still carve it. It's about the consistency of hard cheese. Okay. Um, before it's fired in the kiln. That's when I applied the blue colored slip to the outside okay. and then I carved the designs okay. through that slip. So the white designs here are actually the white clay body itself showing I through imagine. underneath. Yeah. Then it was fired once and I dipped it into a clear shiny glaze which gives it the, the glassy look on and the surface. finished surface and, and then stuff. it was fired again. Yeah. I want to go <coughs> into these pieces right here because I really think that these are very different and unique as well. Mm -hmm. They are, especially with their veins, they look like they have veins or mm -hmm. something. So tell me a little bit about them. Well that is uh, what's called a naked raku process. Ah, That's a, okay. a Japanese method. Um, Let me see. I'm gonna, what if I hold this up? How about that? That might make it easier. And then there we go. There we go. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this piece. So that is a wheel thrown piece. And um, then while it was still leather hard, I applied a colored slip. You can see the very delicate yellow color to it maybe. Um, uh, the other one has a blue slip uh -huh. on it. Okay. Then um, you apply what's called a resist slip. So um, it's of a different nature than the clay body underneath and then you put an overglaze on. So what happens during the firing is um, you fire in a gas kiln until the overglaze begins to get shiny and bubbly. Then you turn off the gas, open the kiln and with big gloves yes, and tongs I'm you sure reach that in can be very dangerous yeah and uh, remove the pieces while they're glowing red hot and you place them into an uh, oxygen reduction environment so like a, a metal garbage can or okay. you can dig a pit in the ground um, you have combustible materials such as uh, wood shavings or paper in there toss more combustibles on top and cover it up so you cut off the oxygen okay. and it smolders and that resist slip and the overglaze crack because of cooling so quickly. Oh. And then the smoke gets in along the crack lines oh. in the glaze and that's where all of those lines yeah. and dots come from. So it's, it's like Christmas, you don't know how it's gonna turn out. Right, you just know right. it's gonna be, every piece will be unique. Yeah. Some okay, have cool. many more lines and dots than others. Um, and then you just scrape off all of that Mm -hmm. resist slip and glaze and clean it off and apply a wax to give it a little bit of a shiny yeah look. so these pieces take a lot more time and effort than most people I think realize doesn't yes. it yeah yes. so yeah when you see those price tags at the arts and crafts shows <laughs> right that's why some of them are priced a little high there's a lot of time and, and love put into each piece how readily available <coughs> is the equipment that everything that you've been describing here is not something you're gonna have at home no, you, you have to go through a ceramic supplier. There's plenty of suppliers around. You can get what you need, but it's fairly expensive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. right. a, a basic potter's wheel would cost 
At least six hundred fifty dollars for a decent one. Uh, most of them are closer to eight hundred or a thousand dollars. Kilns, depending on the size, will run in the range of a uh, thousand to two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Um, so unless it's it, you know it's, it can be a very expensive hobby. Yes. And unless it's something <laughs> that you want to continue to do for a long time, you just have to go over to shop around the corner, absolutely. <laughs> take classes right. through her, absolutely. or go through Wallace. Yes. You know, and take classes that way and yes. then if you really get experienced and good then you might want to invest in this type of thing definitely but it's not just something you all of a sudden say yeah i think i'm gonna go buy a kiln yeah. and i'm gonna go buy this this and I'm goes start beyond hobby into career yes. doesn't it well some people do have this as a hobby i have yeah. a friend but she made okay. a lot of stuff and gave them away as presents or whatever uh -huh. mm -hmm. but uh, yeah most people can't afford it so yeah. you that's why you go to the classes mm -hmm. right so and so all the equipment then is available and and your yeah. expense input is not that great right yeah so all right well cindy classes start uh monday, monday? night at okay. wallace it's is it too late to register now you think for those I classes i don't think so if you're okay. already a registered student you probably could go okay. ahead and get in um, okay. and like i said i always have ongoing classes that shop around the corner people right. can call there very good thanks for being here today thanks great. for having Thank me you, cindy yeah. we'll be back with more right after this when you're coming back if you win, yeah, right? You're exactly right. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's go back and handle with you that came away with you. It's meeting in the regional game uh, tomorrow night in the home opener. The Eagles are going to travel to Cordova and Welcome County this Friday evening. Looking to remain. Danny Thornton analyzes Coleman Bearcat football. Coleman County. Kickoff is set for 7 o'clock this Friday night. Good luck, Coach. Do you I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. continue with more of today on to this part of our show we have some things to give away let's see what our prizes are for today we have the bag of assorted apples back again for another season courtesy of steel orchard we also have a large pizza from coleman pizza hut and one more a day pass for uh, admission for one at hurricane creek park those are the prizes we have for today. All you have to do is correctly answer a question about one of these ads. So let's look at our merchant ads for today. Auto Tech Repair and Service. They have electronic diagnostic to decide just exactly what's wrong with your vehicle and then they can fix it no matter what. And Cotton State Barns, buy or rent to own barns starting as low as $14.96. No credit check, your approved carports, playsets, utility trailers, and storage buildings also available at Cotton State Barns. Jolly Time Rentals, where fun is always in the air. They have license inflatables, they have the slides, the bounce slide combos, and concession equipment. Jolly Time Rentals. And Brown and Company Beverages, located right there on Highway 157 next to the Ford dealership, keeping you cool this summer. Chill out and visit the Beer Cave and all the best brands of domestic, imports, local, and uh, 
regional beverages. Tires for Less, where they do oil changes, minor engine repair, replace shocks, brakes, and do alignments. Open as early as 7.30, Monday through Friday. And it's my party, where they have balloons of all shapes and sizes, singing telegrams from Lulu the Gorilla, anything you need for any type of party. And I don't think she opens up till 10, so don't go by there at 7.30. <laughs> Deb's Bookstore is your hometown bookstore just down the road. Gift certificates available for any special occasion at Deb's Bookstore. And Grand Point Pharmacy, where they have coffee and gift items. They make managing your prescription easy because they know managing your health is hard enough. Mullins Body Shop, you've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and service. You can count on them today. 256 734 1353. Okay, we'll see how well you are in observing our ads. Mm -hmm. We just had Mullins Body Shop. What was in the picture? Very good. What was in the picture in the Mullins Body Shop ad? Our phone number 256-734-7399. If you get the right answer and you're the first person to call in, you get the large pizza from Pizza Hut. You get the bag of assorted apples. I got one of those last week, as a matter of fact. Oh, really? And the okay. day pass to Hurricane Creek Park. Those are the prizes for today. Go ahead and call in while we watch Money Matters, brought to you by Premier Bank. Shield with Premier Bank. I would like to take just a minute to inform you about some exciting things Premier Bank is currently working on. We have opened up two new locations, one on 157 in Coleman and one in Huntsville on Wattsburg Drive near Huntsville Hospital. We are also offering e-statements for all our current customers. This is a way to help the environment along with a better way for you to keep up with your monthly records. So come by and see us at any of our nine locations today. No. Okay, we continue with our program. We don't have any phone calls. No two five six seven three four seven three nine nine. We stumped them I with think, a new ad. I think you did. Okay, well, <laughs> did. pay attention to that Mullins picture for the next time we ask about them. Let's look at the rest of our merchant ads right now. Starting with Dairy Queen, where the blizzard of the month is Chips Ahoy for the month of August. Remember, they have the five buck lunch available every day from 11 until 4, and that includes dessert. That's got to be the best bargain anywhere. Oh, I know, and it is very filling. Renard's Gallery and Gifts, where they sell jewelry, and they have prints, and they do framing. They do such a good job of framing at Renard Gallery and Gifts right there on uh, 314 First Avenue Southeast. Earl's Body Shop voted best of the best for automotive repair in Coleman. Of course, they do towing as well as auto body repair. 24-hour towing is available. Harville Homes in Coleman and Good Hope. Homes and apartments for rent, two to six bedroom single family homes, one to two bedroom apartments. They're located, like I said, in Coleman and Good Hope. Mr. Hicks Menswear, where you'll find regular big and tall size clothing for men. They have dress shirts, trousers, suits, blazers, and tuxedo rentals. There's Mad Dog, Mike Famous Barbecue, and of course he's located right there in the Berlin Quick Stop on 278 and County Road 747, featuring the family barbecue pack for just $14.99. The Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center, they have all sorts of fitness opportunities, the indoor pool, the outdoor pool, full fitness center, including the indoor walking track and all sorts of classes. The Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. Their Steel Orchard, highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. Buy your fresh, hand-picked fruit from over 20 different varieties of apples and six different varieties of what, what was that? I didn't see it. Chesley Oaks Golf Course is an 18-hole golf course in the Fairview area, open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 7 t uh, p.m. Four sets of tees to suit your ability. And Pizza Hut, featuring on Tuesday nights the $10 family size pasta and on Wednesday night 50 cent wings. All-you-can-eat lunch buffet every day 11 to 2, only $6.49. There we go with the merchant ads for today. We'll be back in just a little bit with our community billboards and see who's celebrating a birthday today. We got one really big important birthday today. Oh, do we? Yes. Okay, I haven't checked yet. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. 
and remember the same friendly personal service and we're open on Saturdays. That's how fast the health information technology profession is projected to grow this decade. That's how much a health information technician can make in the first year. Who will you be? Be one of us and get in a Wallace state of mind. At that moment, it hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. Somebody from my hometown. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Community billboards are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Uh, Philip Shirley is going to do a book signing at Deb's Bookstore on Saturday from 9 until 11. He has written The White Lie. And the Senior Spirit Program's Big Band Dance will take place on Saturday, August the 23rd, featuring Sentimental Journey. Admission is just $5. It's at, located at the Donald E. Green Center. And Faith Baptist Church is having a jubilee on August the 15th through the 17th, featuring Taranda Green, I think, Triumph Quartet, and Aaron and Amanda Crabb. So check out the times on those different days. And there will be free continuing education for nurses and social workers. You get four CEs on Saturday, August the 23rd. Registrations from 7.30 to 8. Classes start at 8. It's located right there at Westminster, but you do need to register prior to coming. And Coleman Rock, Park, Rock Concert 2014. The show starts at 7 p.m. It's only $10 to get in. It will be held at the Civic Center on the 22nd. And they're going to be featuring barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. For tickets, give them a call, 256-736-8778. And if you have a community billboard you want to share with us, you can send it to our webpage, channel2coleman.com. Give us a call, 256-734-7399. Or look us up on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. And we do want to wish Mr. Banks Borwick, Yay! six years old today, <laughs> happy birthday. Also, Carol Rigsby has a birthday along with Sandy Arnett. And now, of course, their names will be put into the drawing on Friday where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Now let's check the weather. Brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. The weather forecast should be nearly perfect today. Plenty of sunshine, a high of just 84 degrees. Low tonight, 60. Tomorrow, more of the same. Plenty of sunshine, low humidity, a high of 85 degrees. Fantastic. And what do we have lined up for tomorrow? I think it's the best of the Heritage Park concerts. I guess Ooh, that series okay. has ended, and so they're going to show you some highlights from that, from all from the month or two that they had it. Mm -hmm. Whatever, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's our program for today, brought to you by Premier Bank. Hope you have a great day.